Hello everyone, welcome to Knob Talk. See you guys in a second. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Starting a new business. Things you need to know. First, you need to know your why. Why are you doing this type of business? Second, you need to know what the need is. What type of demographic you're at. Spend some time and spend some money on finding out your market. Third, you gotta find your manufacturer or your partners that you'll need. And fourth, you need to get a bookkeeper. Um, somebody that keeps track of everything. It doesn't matter, just have them on the payroll. Fourth, you need to get your team together. Um, it could be the bookkeepers, the banking, uh, where you're gonna be processing credit cards, what POS system you're gonna be used, things you need for marketing. And that brings me to the fifth point, marketing. You need to know what your target market is. And you can hire a third party company that does SEO or target marketing. They will help you out. The thing is, if you don't know something, don't try it. Cause you're gonna lose money trying it. Let's say um, this marketing package costs three thousand dollars a month. You're like, oh my god, three thousand dollars a month? I can just do it by myself. And you start doing it. Let's say you're spending a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars of uh, zero ROI because you don't know how to do marketing, and you're just spending money that you think you're doing the right thing. Let's say Facebook. Marketing is the worst um, because they take all your money and basically if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose money. Um, Google ads. You got Google ads, you got YouTube ads, um, and you don't know what your um, target marketing, I mean target market is looking at. So the people that are your target market that are looking for your product are going to be looking at different things. So you can't just settle down to one uh, type of marketing strategy. The marketing company will actually spread it out to different types of venues. They will go to Google, they go to YouTube, they go to Facebook, they will go to most of these sites and spend your money accordingly. The way you will spend your money, um, and, I do, and I did this because I own a business, um, I lost like $4,000 a month advertising by myself with zero results so listen you got to make sure you find a trustworthy marketer don't just get anybody from yellow page you have to do your own research on which marketing techniques work and what marketing teams are going to be efficient for you those are some of the results that you need to do and then once you have this down, and I'm just telling you, write this down, write all of this down. Once you have it down, write a business plan. How you're gonna be going at this business and how you're gonna be managing all um, the puzzles, all the pieces, and you're gonna put it together. Then go down to the computer. So one thing you'll need is Secretary of State certificate. So that will be applied on Secretary of State of Washington for a new business. So find out a name that you like for an LLC um, and that certificate will come in. It'll give you a UBI number. And the UBI number then you'll use to get a DOR, Department of Revenue, you go there, get a business license. Depending on what business you are, if you need any certificates, You'll find out, ask them questions. Um, usually if you are a transportation driver, you'll need a for hire certificate, which will be $25 for each vehicle. Um, if you're a, cosmo a cosmetologist or somebody that you just need your certificate that you already have for your licensing. Um, and then what you do is, when you once you get your business license, once you get your Secretary of State certificates, then also find out what insurance you need. So depending on, you guys will need insurance for business insurance. Depending on what your business is, that's how you research, call companies. Do not stick with just the first company that comes to you. Do your research, do your due diligence, 
and find the best company that fits you and what's your affordability. That's what you also need is a, um, a list of how much of a budget do you have? What budget, you just gotta write down, I'm gonna take $10,000 and I'm gonna spend on these, 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 these things. I'm gonna take $5,000, I'm gonna spend on these, these, these things. So once you have a budget and you know you have that much money, so you will spend your money accordingly. Once you understand how to do money management, you will hire the most efficient for your business, but most cost efficient for your business also. So let's say a marketing team that charges you $10,000, but you find a marketing team that does not, that they don't fit your needs. They, they actually do what you want them to do, but they're over budget. You do shopping. You find different marketing companies and then find a good deal. But do not find the cheapest. Find the most affordable business marketing team that you need that's in your budget. Do not try to go under, just make sure you go in the middle or somewhere right there where your first initial um, financial status, uh, strategy was to get the marketing done. Then you find out more information. So the first year, do not expect any profits. I'm telling you this, first year, do not expect any profits. The money that you make, you should be putting back into your business. I'm telling you this, you will not make enough money to put back into your business. You gotta make sure it keeps rotating. You gotta set a financial goal, and you gotta make sure you meet that financial goal. So the main goal for you the first year is to break even. That means you're making this money, you're spending this money. You're making this money, you're spending this money. So you gotta make sure that you have an even level. You can't be spending more than you get, and to get the best result, you can't be spending way less than what you get. So you have to be in that even amount, right? So first year, expect to make no profit. I know that's hard to hear. Do not fall into the quick rich schemes. That means people that are on the internet showing you all this money and they made this money. Do not fall into that. That is a trap and that is not accurate. Nobody that makes money just flaunts that out. Understand that. Nobody that actually makes money flaunts their checks and their cash, anything that to prove that, oh, they're making money. They don't need to prove they're making money. They're trying to hide they're making money from people so they don't stop asking them for more money. Understand, people that are actually making money will not show off their money. If you get these YouTube ads, skip them right away. Do not, um, do not go for them. Do not engage with them. Understand that these are not the right ads. These are just people paying, paying. That's that's a keyword. Paying YouTube or Google marketing to get their brand uh, brand to go up, and people click on their sites so they can make money. Telling you this. There are not get quick schemes out there that will actually make you money. Stocks, if you don't, if you're not familiar with stocks, do not get involved in stocks until you learn how to do the stocks. Do not get any of these gurus that are online, they're just stock experts. Do not do that. That is not a good idea. I don't want to make you lose money. I want to make sure you reach your dream goal, open a business of your dream, and get to that goal without any of these interruptions that will mess up or jeopardize your goal. Understand that. So we got to we got the Secretary of State certificate. You got your business license. Now you need to go into the IRS site. So Google and go into the correct. IRS site and they'll have this eagle symbol um, and this is the site you go to to get your EIN number or other words referred to as tax identification number. This is the key, uh, um, key thing that you need is your tax identification number. Basically you do is you put in your 
um, LLC, Inc., whatever you want to call it, depends on if you want a C-Corp or S-Corp, read about what S-Corp and C-Corp is and read the benefits of the tax um, and how the tax works with an S-Corp and a tax that works with a C-Corp. So you'll realize which one is for you. I don't have you know enough time to explain that, but it's very important that you guys look into it and research that. And LLC, I definitely recommend opening an LLC instead of an um, Inc. or your sole proprietor. First, in an LLC, you're not responsible for the LLC. I mean, you are if you sign the papers that you're responsible, but LLC is a different entity. So basically, it becomes a different person. So what LLC is, limited liability company, is actually a shield that's going to be in front of you. Then you can do is you can on when you open your DOR, like when you go to Department of Revenue um, to open your business license, you can put DBA, which stands for Doing Business As, your actual business name. So the LLC doesn't have to be exactly what you're doing business as, and you can add more DBAs onto the list later on if you want to, or you can add them right then, depending on what your goal is. So we got that, you got the Secretary of State, you got um, your business license, you got your EIN number. So EIN number will be mailed to you and you make sure you keep these in a file that you're not gonna lose because you're gonna need your EIN number to open any accounts or any payroll. Understand that everybody will ask for your tax identification number or EIN number. And then you also need LNI, Labor and Industries. So basically when you fill up your business license, when you do that, there's an option that says you'll be, will you be hiring? So once you select you'll be hiring, they will automatically assign you an LNI, LNI number, the Labor and Industry number. So basically this will automatically happen after you select you're gonna be hiring somebody on the business license. So you got all these ready um, and find a bookkeeper or a payroll system so you can use paychecks, square pay uh, for your payroll so they split the tax out so you don't have to. And all you have to do is put the money they ask and they just take it out of that account. So open two separate, get two separate accounts. One just being your payroll tax. One, being your business. And then you also need one for your personal. And also put yourself on a salary payroll. You need to make sure you have it correctly. So you are on a salary payroll. So if your business is not making money, but it shows you are making money, and this will help in a way when you're applying for loans. Because that way it shows everything in detail order. And also, once you get a bookkeeper, if that bookkeeper can also do your taxes, have them. And one thing is stick with the people that you are, stick with the people that work perfectly with your business. So if the bookkeeper is not working that well, and replace them automatically and find someone that will. And once you find that person, do not switch your team. You got your team set. Team set. So everything is in a block. So you don't want the dominoes to be falling. You want to set those blocks up and get them in a solid foundation. So you got your insurance, business insurance, you got your certificate of S, um, Secretary of State, and then you also got your business license and also you got the IRS um, documentation. Your LNI will be sent out to you and the person that's gonna do in your payroll will file like to get your unemployment and set everything up from there. So there you go, that is done. That is how you start a business. And then to go to the bank, um, to open a bank account, so all these bank accounts will require not all of them, but most of them will require an operating agreement. You have to make an operating agreement. You have to get to um, type this out or also go to some of these sites that actually provide it for you.
So you'll pay like a monthly fee and they will um, get documents that will be generated. Um, basically, just put your name in and then they generate everything for you. Uh, one of them, uh, I can't remember the name, what it was. I think it's lawdepot.com. Uh, basically, you sign in, it's like $16 a month and they make your agreements. So if you don't have like employment, ha employee handbooks, if you don't have uh, business license, um, I mean business details about your business, your procedures, your forms, um, you can fill them out there. There's other sites that do provide them, so you can do your own research and find the sites that work perfectly for you. So understanding that and understanding how everything is processed, and then you can actually be in business. So if you want to start your business, you have to look at these you have to know what your why is, know what your demand is, and find the market that you're going to be hitting. And then find the marketing team that you will need for your marketing. Don't do your marketing on by yourself. If you do not understand how to do marketing, you will lose money in the long run. It will seem okay. Oh, $100, $100 here, $100 here. If you add up all the $100 you'll spend on the advertisement, even though it seems a lot, um, seems less, it's going to be a lot more. So they'll be charging you $300, $200, $300, and that's coming out of weekly and per sometimes daily. So it is going to be a lot more than you'll pay a marketing team. The marketing team will take your percentage, but most of the stuff, they know how to do techniques and they'll put it into effect where you'll get the max ROI. And ROI stands for return on investment. Uh, hopefully I covered everything. If you have any questions, please let me know. And put the comment below. Make sure you hit the like button so I can keep giving you information um, in the future with more information after you start your business. So thanks for listening to Not Talk. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and share this video with somebody that needs it. Thank you.